Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about neutron activation analysis. So as the term implies, you are doing an analysis by taking a sample and activating it with a neutron. So let's see what's happening. Neutron activation analysis is a nuclear process used for the determining of concentrations of major, minor, as well as the trace elements in a vast amount of materials. The technique mainly relies on the excitation by neutrons so that the treated sample emit gamma rays. And this will help in the precise identification as well as the quantification of the elements above all, even the trace elements in the sample can be analyzed. Now this is a picture depicting the neutron based activation of a particular sample and as we have we can see the sample right now emits a prompt gamma ray or later on it can emit a delayed gamma ray and the analyzed sample will further become into another product nucleus and during this particular time it will emit different different gamma rays as well as beta particles by analyzing these gamma rays we can identify what particular element is there in that particular sample analyzed now the principle the sample is bombarded with neutrons causing the elements to form radioactive isotopes and as we told earlier the radioactive emissions and the radioactive decay paths of each element is well known and using this information, it is possible to study the spectrum of the emission of the radioactive sample and to determine the concentration of that particular element within it. A particular advantage of this particular technique is that it does not destroy the sample and it can be used for the analysis of work of art as well as historical artifacts. And NA is mostly used in elemental de element detection and with sequential NAA, that is by repeating the same NAA analysis for the same sample, it is possible to quantitatively measure up to 60 elements in a sample with just of about 5 to 100 milligram of a particular sample. Of course, there, uh, there do exist uh, some disadvantages because the substance becomes radioactive for a period of time and you have to wait uh, for the sample to become non-radioactive and measures should be taken to uh, preserve it when the radioactivity is being still on the sample. It, what are the uses of it? It is a very sensitive technique and it is used to analyze minor elements which have been present in low concentration and it is useful for trace element analysis especially in high purity substances uh, such as a semi in semiconductor techniques and all that it is used to detect trace elements in water and biological materials as well as minerals in archaeology it is mainly used as a fingerprint technique to find out the individual elemental composition in raw materials and it is also considered as an important reference for other analysis methods this is a picture of uh, the NAA facility, the CRNB laboratory, uh, which has been shown in a paper and I have quoted it. Now, this is a forensic case uh, which NAA analysis was being used to analyze the bullet fragments of the President uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination. And it was being found that different fragments of the bullet was being found at uh, that particular location. And they were being analyzed for their silver as well as the antimony concentrations. And based upon their silver and antimony concentrations, it was being concluded that the Q1 and Q9 belong to the bullet number 1 and Q2, Q4 and Q14 belong to bullet number 2. So we had to uh, conclude that based upon the analysis pattern, it was only two bullets that struck John F. Kennedy during his assassination. This is another example in which uh, the elemental concentrations in various seeds have been analyzed as a part of a research and the paper has been quoted. The various other forensic cases which uh, uh, uses NAA. Now, for example, the trace element characterization of cigarettes were being conducted by Italian polis. Uh, you can also check if any drugs have been incorporated into cigarettes as a part by analyzing this NAA technique. The bomb debris analysis, bullet lead analysis, explosive detection analysis, glass fragments, paints, hair. Now, if certain arsenic poisoning at all can be carried out, sometimes even in the hair you can get trace amounts of that arsenic. 
then gun shot residue swabs can be analyzed shotgun pellets can be analyzed so the wide applica uh, wide application of NAA is been found in forensics but the basic requirement is that you should have a radioactivity lab which can uh, that is a source of neutron should be provided in the lab to do this and a, a good facility is needed to do the NAA analysis. I hope all of you got a bit of what you needed from this particular topic and thank you for your patience.